Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the lead code question, unique lengths of three palindromic subsequences. So you are given a string S, return the number of unique palindromes of length three that are subsequence of S. Note that even if there are multiple ways to obtain the same subsequence, it is still only counted once. A palindrome is a string that reads the same words and backwards. So subsequence is, uh, so we have an example. So <coughs> A, C, E is a subsequence of A, B, C, D, E because A, B, C, D, E has all characters like A, C, E and the same order so A and C and E so let's see the example so you are given A, A, B, C, A and the output is 3 because uh, the three palindromic subsequence of length 3 are like A, B, A and A, A, A and A, C, A so that's why output is 3. Okay, so let me explain with this example. You are given A, B, A, B, C, A, D. And uh, I believe this question is much easier than you expected. And first of all, uh, we initialize the two variables. One is a result variable with 0. So this is a return value. And a unique character. So in this case, unique character in the string is like A, B, C, D. And uh, we try to find uh, each character from beginning and uh, from last. So let's try to find A. So we find A at index 0 here. And uh, from the last, we find uh, A here. So now we know that we make sure that we can uh, create a three palindromic subsequence between if we uh, make this area unique because uh, we already have uh, both sides like A and A same characters so just uh, make this area unique so that we can get uh, uh, three palindromic subsequence so to make this area unique uh, we use like a set So in this, uh, in this case, um, so unique character is A, B, C. So there is a 2B, so, but uh, if, uh, if this area, uh, if we make uh, this area unique, so output is A, B, C. So that's why we can create uh, like a A, 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 B, A, A, C, A. So in that case, we get a three uh, unique uh, palindrome uh, subsequence. So update the result variable to 3. And uh, okay, so let's try find uh, B. Uh, from beginning, we find uh, here. And uh, from the last, we find uh, here. So in that case, um, try to make this area unique but uh, it's already unique so i think easy to understand so from this area we can get a unique uh, palindrome uh, like a one palindrome so pab that's why our output is now three plus one is four and uh, how about uh, c uh, from beginning we find the C here and from the last we find the C here and uh, it's same in that case uh, we can't create a palindrome string so we don't update the result variable and how about the D from beginning we find the D is here and from the last we find the D here and the same things uh, there's no space, so uh, we can't create a, um, a palindrome strings, so we don't update the result variable. So that's why in this case output should be 4. Yeah, that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, initialize the result variable with 0 and uh, get a unique character from string so unique equals set and s 
and uh, start looping for character in unique. And uh, first of all, try to find a unique character from beginning and from the last. So let's call um, from the beginning, let's call it start index. So equal s dot find c. So this is a, a such a character uh, from the beginning. And uh, let's call the like an end index. Uh, this is a from the last. And uh, equal s dot if we if we find a specific character from the last we can use r find and c so this is a, like a such such a character from the last index and after that if start is less than n in that case we can create a length 3 uh, palindrome subsequence so less plus equal and the length of uh, unique characters between start and end so set and uh, s start plus one column n so y plus one because in python this number is included so but uh, we need uh, between start and end so that's why uh, we need to uh, add plus one and then this number is not included so that's why i just put end here so after that just return result variable yeah so let me submit it yeah looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be a uh, order of 26 of n uh, so 26 is a number of uh, alphabet uh, because uh, potentially so unique this unique has 26 characters so that's why uh, this for loop possibly um, uh, execute like uh, 26 times and uh, we search the uh, um, character in the string so that's why uh, order of 26 of n and the space complexity is uh, actually same uh, 26 of n because uh, this unique um, variable has uh, potentially uh, 26 characters so that's why so let me summarize step by step algorithm okay so this is a step by step algorithm of unique length 3 palindromic subsequences Step 1, initialize the result variable and get the unique characters from input string. Step 2, start looping, find each unique character from the beginning, start index, and the last end index. If start index is less than end index, try to make unique characters between start index and end index and count lengths of unique characters. So I hope this video helps you understand this question well. If you like it, please subscribe the channel hit the like button or leave your comment. I'll see you in the next question.